Hello, this is Justin Brapp, and there's another episode of Man vs. Junk. Now, I was told something very frightening this morning. I was told that an unknown box arrived on my parents' doorsteps with my name on it. It could be a bomb. It could be anthrax. It could be a terrorist attack. But... It's not. It's obviously from my Uncle Steven in Japan. It's a care package of some sort. And uh, so, anyway, I don't know what it was originally. Something from IODATA and BCN Bacon. It got the Bacon Award, the 2004 uh, Bacon Award right there. And it's all wrapped up. Let's check this out. We've got Saran Wrap. Oh, sorry. So, anyway. We got instructions in Japanese with Japanese stickers and stuff. If these are stickers. I could stick them to something, somebody's, and make them really confused. Alright, we got... Oh! Check it out. Oh, there's something. I think there's, a, is there's just foam in there. Yeah, foam. Alright, um... So, anyways, this is a TV... CX GA2 um, PC to TV down scan converter, and what this does is um, size, picture, huh, zoom. You plug one in into your computer, and uh, it, you let it pass through this into your monitor, and then the other one goes to S video and video. Um, it does not convert the audio, it doesn't go into like HDMI or anything like that but it's awesome you got your V size flicker and your H size bright and I don't know what all these buttons do but it looks exciting um we got like a power adapter here of some kind um and that obviously powers it And this, this is kind of cool. Um, I'm thinking, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking I could somehow figure out how to use this to plug into two monitors and split the signal for output. Mm, i just thinking this is, you know, a pretty cool idea here. Uh, it says PC uh, TVCXGA2 and something Japanese probably the box so this let's see RGB and in and out I don't know I'm thinking what this is it doesn't pass through um pretty much everything I've got is analog it's not digital so I'm assuming that um, this goes into here like so and then um, this must be go to like the monitor. Yeah. And then this is like an extra one. But I'm sure I could figure out how to hook this up to where it would like do some awesome stuff. We got our um, S video cable here, our VGA here, our remote control, brand new batteries. Check it out, the batteries are included. I'm wondering if you even used this thing. We got the remote and batteries and all this cool stuff so this would be cool this will work with like my video projector because um, I've got an old school video projector um, so yeah obviously you know upgrading to new TVs and stuff people don't need this anymore but it's pretty cool and uh, it looks American even though everything's Japanese it says um, TVC XGA2 www.iodata.japan JP so it is Japanese, um, PC to TV down scan converter. Uh, it has, if you up and down, it's freeze, um, it both at the same time, it freeze the screen. Uh, left and right at the same time is a factory reset. 
and then the rest of it's just screen position and power and all this good stuff so thank you Uncle Steven this is awesome I will find a way to put this to good use not on the rifle range but um, I'll find a way to put this to good use so what I'm most impressed with out of this whole package is the foam things you can pop them and they make an awesome noise it's extremely addicting so So this is my Japanese improvised explosive device. It's awesome. And 7800, uh, I don't know if that's euros or what they use over in Japan. And it's got video, like video tape, like cassette tape type thing. Maybe in Japan they use cassette tapes for uh, videos instead of VHS. TV, Japanese and Japanese. Um, it comes with lots of Japanese features as a Japanese remote control. But everything's American, that's the weird part. Like, all the symbols and stuff that tell you what to do on it are American. And, of course, it received the 2004 Bacon Award. Um, and, um, again, you know, just turn it around. Oh, we've got diagrams. DC in, RGB in and out. Lots of Japanese. Uh, more Japanese. And, um... So that must be like Macintosh, because I'm guessing more Japanese people use Macintosh. Made in China, so it didn't move very far. It went from China to Japan. And uh, so it's a very interesting thing. So Now, I wanted to tell you guys something. If you buy something in the United States, like, you know, because we're supposed to be supporting the United States, and something like this gets stamped on it, and it says it's made in Korea or made somewhere else, you know, probably not a good idea to, to purchase from that company anymore. But, um, obviously, this is an English product. And I could have bought this in the United States, too, with English on it. And it probably would have said Made in China somewhere on it. But just the general rule of thumb, if you buy RAM or something and it's all weird language, you probably should not buy that brand. This is my recommendation. Um, unless it's an alternative language, you know like Spanish or whatever, you know. Um, so, that is my improvised explosive device from Japan. And, um, oh, this goes back in it. What am I doing? I don't have my power break in it. If I don't have that in it, how will I plug it in to turn it on? That would have been embarrassing. wondered why it was smaller. The rim inside. Oh, boy, I'm not packing it very well, am I? Yeah, poor packing job. Okay. So Japanese people are extremely intelligent at putting large things in small space. And so are people that live in trailers. So. Oh, here we go. However, I know because I know people who live in trailers like myself. People who live in trailers do not like being called the trailer people. Now... It wouldn't offend someone like me, probably, but um, somebody who's been made fun of and their family has been tormented, who's been called the trailer people, you do not want to do that. So, I think it would be fun to get weird Japanese stickers and stuff and just start sticking them to people's stuff, you know, because they'd wonder, what in the world is that? So, here you go. Uh, Konnichiwa, or whatever, I don't know. Andegato gozimashita. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok. Sich, hach, ku, ju, ju, ich, ju, ni, ju, san, ju, go, ju, rok, ju, hach, ju, I don't know. Anyway, so, there it is. Sich. Sich. Sich, hach? Would that be it? Sich, hach, zero, zero? I don't know. Um, let's see. Ich, ni, san, shi. Go rok sich hach ku ju ju ich ju ni ju san ju si ju go ju rok ju sich ju hach ju ku ju ju ni ju ni ju ich ni ju I'm yeah I need practice on my Japanese counting uh, but anyway there it is explosive device um, I encourage you to like share and subscribe. 
Check out my other videos, like on my emergency preparedness kit, about how this thing can keep your emergency preparedness kit dry and it's reusable and um, keep your food dry and all that. Um, check out my fishing videos, emergency survival videos, all that stuff. Um, oh, I'm about done building my other emergency survival kit for my life yet. Here's um, the pack that's going to go in hers. So, put a survival kit in a survival kit, that's one thing I always say. Um, so, anyways, we're going to be doing uh, some new videos. One of them is going to be an operation on a fishing pole. Um, hopefully, we'll be making some new pointed um, slugs that are solid, that are awesome, with our um, mold that we're making. The negative, this is the negative mold. Um, I think I showed this in another video, but you know, these videos need to be 10 minutes long because otherwise I do not make money on them very much anyway. Because in the ads they put on them kind of suck and no commercials, you know. Oh, by the way, YouTube has emailed me and they asked me if I owned my own music and stuff I use in my videos. And I'm like, dude, I created it. I, I had a video where I showed myself creating the music using Linux Multimedia um, Center, or whatever it's called, Studio, I think that's what it's called, Linux Multimedia Studio. <sighs> Let me put this back on my shotgun. Anyway, so just remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check out the other awesome videos. Um, also, uh, do a YouTube search for a song called Eye of the Camera. It's a spoof of Eye of the Tiger, and you will love it. It is a great um, viral video as well as my well the doom 4 video is the viral video and then the windows 8 one's an old one it almost has a million hits if i just get a few more people to watch my windows 8 ultimate uh spoof parody whatever you want to call it i could get a million hits and that would be awesome to have a, a single video with a million hits on it so anyways enjoy yourself have a good day